this being of light. Uh, people really love that. It's intense love, intense compassion, and they want to stay with the being of light. Then some people will even put a name on it. Some people say it's Jesus. Some people feel that it's a very high spiritual being. saw this beam of light that um, was sort of floating in the air and she was amazingly beautiful and powerful. How can you tell anybody what the presence of God is? No religion can do it. No holy book can do it. But no they... article can do it. Yes. No novel can do it. It's being there consumed by that power that is so beyond power that it dissolves identity, it dissolves cells, it dissolves molecules, it dissolves even naked nakedness, it dissolves everything. This being was everything there is. Um, there is nothing that you can compare it to. There are no words really to explain what it felt like. This is a space where you do not want to leave, you want to stay there. This is what we all strive to get at. Of. I felt like I was the small eye in the void and as I traveled toward the light I, I reconnected with the greater eye. The, 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 I'm sorry, I'm really stammering. Um, <clears throat> it's a kind of love that can't even be explained. It is, it is so hard to explain what being unconditionally loved is or what it feels like. But it feels like it feels like the safest, most exalted feeling. Uh, well, you see, it's ineffable. You run out of words when you try to explain it. As I continued to marvel at this and, and wonder what was happening to me, I started I started drawing towards this light that had this such presence and such love to it. I was connecting from the small eye to the greater eye, and it, how do I say a feeling? Because it's, um, I'm really grappling with this one, I'm sorry. I, I saw in front of me start to envelop this light that coalesced. Couldn't tell the distance to the light, but it coalesced as a ball. And I marveled at this ball because it was infinite. And it seemed to be the presence I was suspended in that actually took form in front of me. And I, I spent some time just, just gaping at this because there was nothing around this ball. This ball contained the universe, somehow I knew that. And there was nothing, no dimensions, no time, no space, no thing. <laughs> and it was not something my mind could, could wrap itself around. It felt like it was reaching out. And, and, and I, I use the word envelop because it felt like it just surrounded me and, and, and pulled me in. You know, like it was reaching out and it just wrapped itself around me hold me into into um, into unity and 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 and, and that's where um, I and, and and in that process is where I was connecting to all of my totality of, of, of who I really am and there before me was the living presence of the being of light and 
this being was all-knowing. It knew everything, everything that, that was going to happen and will happen and the reasons behind them. It was just in this beautiful place of existence that just, it was the zero point. It had nothing, had any meaning. Very curious about the, the light. And, and then it, it, this experience start, it starts getting trite because I didn't really have the language to describe it. And um, I was stepped into the light and it was so many different colors I had never seen before, iridescent, shimmering, glowing, and the feeling of being in that light was the most incredible feeling I had ever had. The joy, the peace, the harmony, the okayness, the allowing, the expansion of it all. And it was, there was a, there was a perfect justice, and and it also contained all things that ever were or, or, or will be. And it was loving me. It was just pouring out this unconditional love at me. And I thought, well, this isn't the guy on, top, on the top of the Sistine Chapel. As I got closer to the light, I had this very strong sense of at last I'm home. About that time, the light opened up into the shape of a person and still radiant light, and I just dove right into it, into perfect love and peace and joy and bliss, um, an amazing feeling. What I think happens when we die is that we enter into another state of existence or another state of consciousness that is so extraordinarily different from the spatial and temporal frame of reality in which we exist in the physical world that the language we have is not yet adequate to describe this other state of existence or consciousness.